All right, everyone. Supreme Kami over here. So let's actually talk about the episode five of a battle log over here. So uh, we are finally into more or less like a and like a really climactic place where we have the fight going on. Uh, but man, let's talk talk about the big big stuff. We finally get to see uh, Ryusei Fudo executing that full burst mode. Like, oh my gosh, like we. I'm pretty sure everyone has been waiting for him to use that full burst mode. That was like. I mean, like, it wasn't, like, anything too spectacular. Um, all he did was, like, wear out all the enemy that we, we, we saw kind of last week and all that. But, yeah, that was, like, probably the most, like, climactic place you could kind of be at. Because, like, everyone, like, was, like, counting on him. Because, like, uh, we have these uh, supposedly really strong AI piloting these, um, you know, um, kind of, like, summoning unit. And they were, like, kind of, like, panicking. Because, like, um, Tuma actually mentioned it. If they're going to fight them one by one, uh, they have... They pretty much had stand like, no chance against them because like supposedly they're that strong, so they were re literally counting on Ryusei Fudo to like execute that uh, full burst mode, which it did. So that was actually quite good. Um, so in, in terms of the overall episode, we did start things up with like um Kentoro actually out here like describing every one of those units. Um, how he described them was kind of like poetic in a way. Um, he was like describing them as like they're like um how majestic they are you know giving all those full description of like your unit the pilots and all that i'm just like oh, i'm like i mean like we don't we don't need all of that man like come on we <laughs> he's like he's even more annoying like, like i don't he's not not annoying but he's just a little bit more cringe like why why does he have to describe him that way but um anyway he's just out here he, he he's pretty good at reading the brochure that's all i gotta say right wow you can read the brochure. Uh, but in terms of those um, supposedly strong AI pilots, we actually did get to hear like the own individual force lines. So uh, that was quite surprised, I guess. Uh, I, I, mean, I don't know. I don't know if I would say surprised because we do know that in terms of our, our game, um, every one of those AI pilots do have like force lines. So I'm not surprised they were able to get them online um, into the enemy and just kind of force those uh, characters and all that. So, um, but that was a quite a nice touch they, they have done right there. So props to them for that. Um, in terms of overall that, that was pretty much it, right? Um, so we had the fight, they're, they're starting off with like a 1v1 fight. And then after that, you know, Tuma was like, alright, let's actually team up and try to take them out because like they're, they're kind of strong, right? Um, you had the referee, Mr. Busha, out here like slashing. Alright, so I was reading the comments in terms of like the overall episode on YouTube and like I saw people were talking about, um, if Mr. Bushido would have been, um, left arm, like, um, holding like the sword, um, left arm, he would have had a chance because... Um, throughout the episode, you saw him, you saw Mr. Bushido holding the garbage tray, uh, like, with both hands. Um, usually, he doesn't do that. If you guys do watch the, like, the double series, you do know that, uh, Mr. Bushido, or in terms of, um, Graham Acre, he's more or less like a left, uh, left-hand person, uh, in terms of, like, um, handing any weapon, um, just holding any weapon, so... I mean, they could have they could have been a little bit more detailed in that part, <laughs> I guess. But it was still it's still quite a nice touch already, like regardless and all that. But yeah, uh, after that they kind of start teaming up. So we had um the perfect straight freedom and then life, life uh life lance happens over here running for the laps, um waiting for Yusei Fudo to charge up that um they he had a special name for that, but I can't I can't quite remember it right now. Uh, basically he has to charge up his full burst mode, but uh, like. I thought he would instant like he would um immediately have it ready because like um he had what I guess not really because he had to, he had to wait for the uh the satellite system to kind of give him all those energies which he did um so that was like more or less another friend service to the X um to the Gundam X series over there so uh but man like he had to count to ten and then um all those panel open up uh from the arms and then the legs and he was ready uh once those um. Enemies got over to the clip of the mountain. He was ready, right? Um, he got the he 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 got all those cannon ready, and he boom, like oh like, whoa, like that's it. He just wiped them out just like that with like a full burst mode beam like that, and yeah, that is basically it. Um, there was one enemy that was not really destroyed yet. We had um uh, with the golf custom, so obviously we had to have Misa finish it off. So uh, she gave us that blazing kick. Did we actually, I think we do have the blazing kick in game, right? If we do, I don't think it looks that crispy at all. Like the one in anime looks top notch. Like, oh, uh, I, I don't know, man. But um, the one in anime was a little bit more cinematic than it could be. Like, no, it w it was just right on. Uh, but the one in game is like a little bit more anticlimactic in a way. But yeah, uh, that is pretty much it. So we have now we're switching switching back to Kentoro. Um, out here just complaining because like he. 
I guess he was just complaining because he didn't get the spotlight he deserved. It's like, dude, you have been getting the spotlight. Um, the GB festival is kind of streaming what kind of like what kind of shenanigans you you're doing. Like even like the bystander like or I guess the participant of the GB festival, they're like kind of like they thought. Um, they thought this is more or less like a special event, and I'm just like, dude, this is not. This is like a, this is not a drill, man. Like, someone got the um, account deleted and all that. So yeah, that's uh, pretty much where we kind of left things off with. Um, in terms of the very last moment, we had uh, Takuma out here saving the day because like um, Kentoro was ready to strike off blazing in them, and no, um, he she was safe. So that was quite luckily. Um, he he came just in time. So. Uh, so next episode, we should be having everyone fighting off Kentoro. So that should be quite an an interesting interesting ending, I guess. So yeah, that is going to be pretty much it. So do let me know how you guys feel about the episode. And then I'll catch you guys next week with the final episode over there. I think next week should be the final episode. As, uh, that's how they kind of announced it. So only six, uh, six short episodes. So yeah, with that being said, I'll catch you guys all on the next one.